have reached the ninth episode of our Catechism course, and I've completed the first half of the series, which gave you the general overview or understanding of the eight basic elements of the Catholic faith. This is Padre Ben Arolano, Spiritual Director of the Alliance of the Holy Family International. Last June 24, 2020, Solemnity of St. John the Baptist, we started with this series on the Catechism of the Catholic Church, primarily for all the members of the AFI movement. Five months into the making of this series, we saw ourselves caught in global events that have practically changed the course of our history. And it is not as if we were not forewarned of these coming events. We were, and so many times at that. In Fatima in 1917, we were warned by Our Lady. In Akita, Japan, which is an approved apparition, her words came with clear details on October 13, 1973. Our Blessed Mother said, the work of the devil will infiltrate even into the church in such a way that one will see cardinal opposing cardinals, bishops against bishops. The priests who venerate me will be scorned and opposed by their comforts. Churches and altars sack. The church will be full of those who accept compromises and the demon will press many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service of the church. Then more recently, although the conclusions to this event are still not definitive, in 1995, Our Lady appeared in a small town in Civitavecchia in Italy, allegedly crying tears of blood 13 times in front of crowds of witnesses. Although some church authorities called it a hoax, no less than St. John Paul II himself, as one notable archbishop was reported as saying, wanted to venerate and crown her in the Vatican apartment, but in secret, so as not to interfere with investigation of the diocesan commission. Later, it was confirmed in writing that this event did happen. By this action, it meant that this great Saint Pope believed in the message of Our Lady of Chibitabekia. What is noteworthy to consider too is the striking similarity of Our Lady's message with those that she said in Fatima and Akita. The messages speak of a great apostasy and a call for people to return to the sacramental life. Her messages speak of the need to be nourished with Eucharistic communion daily, if possible. To go to confession regularly. On Sundays, to receive communion in the state of grace. And for people to go for Eucharistic adoration. Our Blessed Mother also asked to pray the rosary with much devotion as it is a powerful weapon to defeat Satan. And this is precisely why we in the Alliance of the Holy Family International enjoin all of our family members, including you, our dear subscribers, to continue watching and studying these catechism lessons that we upload so that no one of you will be swept away by this tide of apostasy that our Blessed Mother is warning us. Many things, as I have said before, will begin to confuse and leave you doubting about our Catholic faith, especially if those who are causing the confusion are coming from the authorities themselves of the Catholic Church. But nonetheless, Archbishop Carlo Maria Viganò, the former nuncio to the United States, gives us heartwarming advice that is well worth to follow, especially in these trying times. He said, and I quote, 
We cannot judge our pastors for their intentions, nor suppose that all of them are corrupt in faith and morals. On the contrary, we can hope that many of them, once before intimidated and silent, will begin to understand as confusion and apostasy continue to spread, the deception to which they had been subjected, and will finally shake off their slumber. Never as today can we understand the theological hatred coming from the enemies of God, inspired by Satan, the attack on everything that recalls the cross of Christ, on virtue, on the good and the beautiful, on purity, must spur us to get up in order to claim our right not to be persecuted by our external enemies, but also above all, to have strong and courageous pastors, holy and God-fearing, who will do exactly what their predecessors have done for centuries, preach the gospel of Christ, convert individuals and nations, and expand the kingdom of the living and true God throughout the world. Truly well said, for it confirms what we are precisely trying to do in our AFI movement. For the first half of our Catechism series, which says on the eight basic elements of the Catholic faith, we continue on with the second half, which says a deepening of each of the Ten Commandments. All of you who are subscribed, enrolled, so to speak, will gain this time a better appreciation and thorough understanding of what each commandment says. I know that the first nine episodes may have been long and somewhat tiring to digest. But if you want to gain that stability in your faith that will remain unshaken even in the face of apostasy, persevere. Continue watching and studying until you finish the entire Catechism series and graduate with confidence, belief, and love for this awesome Catholic faith we were gifted with by our Lord God. This is our contribution to the raging warfare that our Catholic Church is waging now against its enemies. Arm its faithful, especially our AFI members and subscribers, with the weapons that they can use to defend themselves against the apostasy and heresies of our times. With the core care lifestyle of consecration, oblation, reparation, and its elements of confession, adoration, rosary, and the Eucharistic sacrifice of the Mass, which all help us live a sinless, grace-filled family life, strengthened by the knowledge gained from this catechism course, we and our families will have a fighting chance in surviving in the great persecution up ahead. We have a few more lessons or episodes to go through to complete this catechism series. Continue answering the questions after every episode and send them to afi underscore usa at aol.com. After this series, I will contact you to check how much you have learned and see if you are ready to help in the global evangelization work of the AFI movement. We need more volunteers to help us in the next three years to reach 195 countries. We pray and we act. And in the latter, it means knowledge of what the true faith is as taught to us by Christ Himself. To the Gospel, the Holy Tradition, and the living magisterium. I pray that you all persevere to the end and please invite more of your family members to watch and subscribe to our 88th Formation channel. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.